What I really wanted to talk about was this idea of how I put my show together and a concept of education versus entertainment. Yeah, I see putting Home and Hose together as a curation process because you have to think of the sound of all the songs and how they fit together. When you're curating something, you've got to put in your own personal taste, but then you also have to think of the audience as well. I wanted to bring across that there are so many decisions are involved in creating a show and especially in creating a group show. I mean, most important is the artist's work. You take decisions about what kind of show do I want to uh, present, what is the theme. You have to develop your own criteria how to actually decide who is going to be in the show or not. I wanted to demystify the role of curator-editor. Um, for me, it can sound very abstract and bizarre, um, so I wanted to sort of tell the audience how I came to where I was and kind of maybe empower them to, to think that it's not such a big, lofty title. A critical thing for me when I think about curation, especially in relationship to film, you're constantly looking for how you make choices that have cultural integrity and how you present a program that has commercial savvy and will actually appeal to an audience. Uh, what Creative Sydney is doing is really fantastic because it is about how we bring together different disciplines and what kind of learnings can we have from each other rather than how we impress our peers with how we talk about what we already know. To do things like this is certainly one way to increase uh, the creativity and I think it's also very important to be open to incorporate all the different genres, talk about music but also about art but also about design, technology. You may can't mix all of these but in a certain way it makes sense to mix things. Not an easy answer but more arts funding. It feels like we're kind of becoming more culturally aware and more interested as, as time goes on. I think we have to change the attitude people have towards the creative arts. Sydney and even Australia in general is a sports nation. Quite often Australians do view the creative arts as almost a bit of a hobby, not something of maybe vocational worth. It would be nice to change that.